Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday. Today we are talking about some of the plans for 2021. It's hard to believe I'm even saying that. It feels like this year just flew by. I like to make these videos every year kind of just showing you guys what's going to be happening in this upcoming year. And I would say my last video from 2019 talking about 2020 was pretty accurate. So I thought we'd do this again and I'll talk to you guys about some of the very cool things that will be happening here in 2021. So the first big one, and the only thing I think I missed on my 2020 review, is that I was going to do a Gecko giveaway, and I ended up not doing one, and I ended up waiting. So, 2021, we are going to do a Gecko giveaway, finally. I'm hoping to do something nice, something cool. Um, I did a shirt giveaway this year, and that went well. So, maybe a couple more of those, because those are fun to do. Uh, and then we'll work our way up to a, a whole Gecko. I've always wanted to do that. So I'm sure that'll be something I will accomplish in 2021. Another exciting thing that's going to be happening in 2021 is I'm going to be doing probably the biggest Crusty Gecko sale I've ever done before uh, come springtime. I'm hoping to have between 40 and 50 Crusty Geckos for sale. Mostly babies, a couple juveniles, and a couple adults in there too. So that'll be very interesting. I've never done a sale that big before, but I will have a lot of nice geckos for sale. And I wish I could show you guys some of the babies, but they just when they're babies, they just don't look as good as they're going to look next spring. I always like to take the babies from the previous year and grow them up a little bit, get them to that at least 10 gram range so I can kind of see who's really nice or who has a lot of potential and, you know, that sort of thing so I know who to hold back. And this year I happen to have a lot of red crested geckos, which is great. It's just that a lot of red crested geckos start out pretty brown, pretty tan looking as babies and don't really get very red until that 8, 10, 12 gram range. So until then, I don't have a lot of super cool babies to show you because a lot of them are just kind of, I can tell they're starting to get more red, but a lot of them are still just eh, kind of brown, kind of tan. So I wish I could show you. I mean, I have a couple that aren't obviously reds that are nice, but for the most part, I have a lot of reds. So if you like red crested geckos, I'll definitely be on the lookout for that sale next spring. I'm going to have a ton for sale. Also, Another cool thing that's going to be happening in 2021 is I have some pairs, some gecko pairs, that are going to be, I think, amazing. Um, three of my nicest males are going to be breeding in 2021. Uh, Vector, who you probably have seen before, and Diamond, and then, of course, Hellboy. Now, Hellboy is an interesting one because I tried him actually this, this year, and I had him with two different females, and he did not produce any good babies for me. I did end up getting one singular fertile egg from one of the females, but it ended up dying in the egg. So, yeah, we're going to try him again. We're going to try those other males. It's their first year breeding, so it'll be interesting to see how those go. But I think they're definitely going to be worth it in the end, depending on what they produce. A lot of them are going to have at least one red female, Vector and Diamond. So we could have some really nice high white red geckos coming out this year. And then, of course you know, possibly, just possibly a little lily white in there somewhere. Uh, if my male is bigger by early spring, he's about 30 to 33 grams right now. So by springtime, like, you know, February, March, he might be 35, 40. And you could try him with one female, one of the calmer proven females, just to see how he does. Um, so that might be in 2021 too. Otherwise, if I don't feel he's ready, I will wait for 2022, in which case I will have a bunch of Lily Whites breeding, but that's for next year's video. I'm going to make a separate video probably talking about some of the pairs I have. I don't actually have anything too groundbreaking, other than maybe, you know, Hellboy and his little interesting morph, and Vector and Diamond, the High Whites. So, nothing too crazy going on. 2021 is going to be a pretty chill year. 2020 was kind of hectic. Made the website, you know, shirts, all that sort of stuff, so... This is going to be more of a chill year. I'm going to be focusing more on just growing up babies again, kind of like this last year. So there might not be as many unboxings, but that's about it for this video. Um, be on the lookout for some gecko sales, some gecko giveaways, some cool stuff coming this year. I will obviously keep you in the loop if anything else is planning to go down. But with that, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one.